Depression is more common today than ever before. But why is that? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the science behind depression, answering three key questions. What is depression? What are the modern causes of depression? And what can we do about it? So that by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not you're dealing with depression and what you can do to treat it. But first, g'day legends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, you're there. If you're new here, my name's Jesse Crow, and I'm the traveling scientist currently living here in Jindabyne, Australia. And on this channel, I explore science-based techniques and ideas to help you live a smarter, happier, and healthier life. Now, I've made an e-booklet called Top Tips for Dealing with Depression. So if you ever find yourself struggling with depression, you can download that at any time. It's totally free, and it's in the description just down below. So what is depression? Depression is a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. It's a very common mental disorder and symptoms include lack of energy and motivation, feelings of sadness, guilt, worthlessness, and trouble eating and sleeping. Depression can be mild when you're feeling kinda down, but depression can also be moderate or even severe. But it's important to know that no matter what sort of depression you're dealing with, there are treatments available to you. And I'll discuss those in just a moment, but first we're going to look at the modern causes of depression. Simplistically, feelings of depression can occur when there's something inherently wrong with your life. And here I'm going to share four key factors of modern society that are triggering depression in so many people around the world, so that you can notice these factors and deal with them moving forward in your own life. The first one is a lack of purpose, and it's important to have purpose in your life. Something that motivates you to get out of bed in the morning. Maybe it's a meaningful job, or studies that interest you, or helping people in need. But if somebody doesn't care about their job, or they're not studying anything that interests them, or they're not helping anybody, then they might lack purpose, which can promote feelings of depression. So the first step to avoiding depression is to find your purpose. What is it that gets you out of bed in the morning? Another cause of depression is a disconnection from nature. Depression is far more common in people that live in cities compared with people that live in rural areas. And many studies have shown that people who spend more time in nature have reduced stress levels, lower blood pressure, better sleep, stronger immune responses, and reduced levels of depression. In the modern age, not enough people are getting outside of their houses or getting outside of their cities. So if you want to prevent or treat depression, start by getting outside into a more natural environment. The third major cause of depression is loneliness. And in our modern age, people are more connected now than ever before. You can communicate with someone on the other side of the world instantly, yet people are still feeling more lonely than ever. Why? Well, community is essential to survival. Humans are hardwired to stick together. We need each other. But with the rise of the internet and social media, more people are working from home, communicating via text message, and meeting up in person way less often, especially given the recent pandemic. Quarantines and lockdowns are keeping people apart, and the media hype has scared so many people into purposely avoiding their fellow human beings. This reduced human interaction is unnatural, and it contributes to those feelings of depression. So you can deal with this by getting out there and being more social. Spend time with friends and family, or go and make some new friends. And the fourth cause of depression that I wanna talk about is concern for the future. With the current global state of affairs, it's hard to imagine a positive outlook for the future. Wars, climate change, rising populations, food shortages, floods, fires, disease outbreaks, when people can't predict the future, and there are so many bad things happening in the world, it's easy to become overwhelmed and depressed. The problem is that fear sells and people buy into it. It's a natural human instinct for people to respond to this negative news so that they can protect themselves. The world isn't doomed. There are plenty of good things happening all around the world, all the time. But those topics are simply discussed less and forgotten more. They're often overtaken by shocking and negative news reports. So turn off the news because worrying about the future is only gonna make you more depressed. There's also many other factors that contribute to depression. Things like alcohol and drug abuse, childhood trauma, and obviously genetics. But those are all classic examples, everybody knows about them. I just wanted to talk about some of the more modern triggers of depression. Now you know all about those, let's talk about what we can do to treat depression. 
I've already pointed out four ways of dealing with the modern causes of depression. Find your purpose, get out into nature, be more social, and turn off the news. But there are many other ways of preventing and treating different types of depression. For mild cases of depression, there are many natural supplements out there that can help. Things like vitamin D, SAMI, 5-HTP, curcumin, omega-3, and I'm currently working on a video all about St. John's War. These are all relatively cheap, safe, and effective remedies that can help with depression. But there's also prescription medications, antidepressants like SSRIs and MOAIs. These can be highly effective, but they also have some serious side effects. So definitely speak with your doctor if you think you might need some antidepressant medication. Finally, therapy is a highly effective way of dealing with depression. And most people think that they don't need therapy, or they're too afraid to talk about their issues with a stranger. But talking about your mental health is probably the best way of dealing with it and improving it. And therapists are trained to help people with these problems. That is literally their job. I'm actually working on a video right now about cognitive behavioral therapy. It's a specific type of therapy that's really helped me personally with my mental health and it could definitely help you too. So if you think you'd like to talk to somebody about your depression, I can't recommend it highly enough. It will change your life. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Feel free to share your thoughts on depression in the comment section down below and I will respond to you personally. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.